So planning experiment question. You have to plan an experiment. Whenever for physics you are planning experiment, you should always answer the bullet points. It was the last question we did. 11, I think. Okay, we can do this one. A student has a box of a converging lenses, but does not know their focal length. So student don't know what is the focal length of the lens. Plan an experiment which will enable her to determine the accurate value of the focal length of one of the lenses using an equation uv, u multiplied by v divided by u plus v. What is u and v? Uh, u is the object distance, like if we have a lens with the, on the holder and uh, we will have an illuminated object. Say so this is an object and we'll have a screen. So the distance between the object and the center of the lens is u and the distance between the lens and the screen is v. That is u and v. The apparatus which is available, a lens holder is there. This is a lens holder is available. A 12 volt lamp in a holder with a power supply. What is the purpose of this? Like there will be a lamp. The lamp will provide the light and a card with a triangle, triangular hole covered. So there is a card and a triangular hole is there. So means this will act like an object. Like a card is there, a triangular hole. When we pass this through the lens, on the screen, we'll get a, because real images of convex lens are always inverted, so we'll get an inverted image. Write a plan for this experiment. List any additional apparatus. What is missing here? Like, what apparatus is missing? Okay, what is missing here? U and V are the distances. So how we can measure the distance? Yes, so we missing is a meter rule or a meter scale. Draw a diagram uh, how the apparatus would be arranged. Clearly label U and V. That's how you will draw. But the diagram should be labeled. Like example, uh, lamp is there, object is there, lens is there, lens holder. All the things it should be labeled. I'm right, just saving a time, but you should draw a neat and a label diagram. Then write a method to carry out the experiment, include how you determine um, focal length. So what we will do, the procedure we have to, so we place lens, object, and the screen on the horizontal bench. Then this experiment should always be done in a dark room. So use a dark room when the light, if optical pin is there, then we don't need a dark room. Otherwise we should use a dark room. Then we will place the object at a distance example, say 10 centimeter. Usually the focal length of the lens which we are using in our lab is 15 centimeter. So you, if you place an object 15 centimeter, less than 15 centimeter, then the rear, it will form a magnified image, a virtual image. So you cannot write, place an object 15 centimeter from the lens. It should be more than 15, any value, but more than 15. So place the object, like example, 20 centimeter from lens. And that is U for us. Then move the screen until the clear and the focus image is formed. And then we will repeat and until focus image is formed, then we will measure V, the distance between the lens
and the screen. And after measuring a distance between, and then we'll repeat with five different values of And then how we can measure the use the formula as a formula is given that the focus F is equals to U into V divided by U. So you use the formula and then find the focus and uh, avoid parallax error because you are using a meter rule. As I mentioned in a procedure, you should mention the precaution as well. So look perpendicular, avoid parallax error when measuring the lens and uh, all should be in line. Like lens, the screen and the object should be in line. So state the precaution you should take to obtain a clear focus image. So what precaution we should take to... Why we use five different values so that we can repeat the experiment and we can take an average value of the focal, focal length. When we change the value of U, the value of a V will also change, but the focal length will not change. So that's why we use a five different values of U. So here in this question, state of precaution, you should take obtain a clear focus image. So what precaution? We should move the screen back and forth. So we get a clear image. Like move the screen, keep the distance between the lens and the object same and just move the screen either back or forth so that you get a clear image. And then what precaution for accurate measurement? So we should look perpendicular to avoid a parallax error. And you can also, in, in this question, they did not ask like how you present your result, but you can also present your result, how you'll present your result. You will have the value for U and that will be in centimeter. You will have the value for V that is also in centimeter. And then you will have the value for F which is u into v divided by u plus v. And that is also in centimeter. We don't need to write formula there. Just write f and the unit will be in centimeter. So the marking scene points, I will read the marking scene points as well. So you will have an idea of the reference. Look, the, the distribution of the marks. Additional apparatus is screen and the meter rule. Uh, we did not mention screen, but because I drew, so you will score the mark. When you're drawing, you will score that mark as well. The diagram arrangement operators, U and V clearly label, obtain clear focus image, measure U and V, repeat the experiment with other values of the U. And one precaution for a focus image, what are the precaution? F is a focal length. Focal length means is a point where all the parallel light rays converge. That is called F, the focus. And the that is focus and the distance between the focus and the center of lens is called focal length. So move the screen slowly backward or forward or object and lens and screen should be in line with each other. Object and lens at the same height or use a dark room that we mentioned in the beginning. So we'll score this mark. One precaution, avoiding a parallax error or mark the center of the lens on the holder because we want to measure all the distances from the center of the lens or clamp rule or fix to the bench. Like the scale, either you fix it to the bench so you don't have to move the scale again. So that is also a precaution for this experiment. What is the value formula for F? It is given in the question. And then take an average, take a mean. So in paper six, you're not supposed to learn any formula. The formula is given that F is given by a formula. F is equals to U plus V divided u into v divided by u plus v. Is it uh, clear, this one? Experiment how to work out the focal length of a lens, convex lens. So paper six, you don't have to memorize any formula. Paper six, the formula will be there. You just have to use that. 